The quiet village of Waterdown was established on the edge of the Niagara Escarpment almost 200 years ago. But in the summer of 1934, the inhabitants of this rural town would catch a glimpse of a strange and unusual creature. On today's episode of Never Stop Learning, we will be checking out the walking wraith of Waterdown. It all started with a newspaper article from the Waterdown East Flamborough Heritage Society entitled The Walking Wraith of Waterdown. In it, a man named Art Holt tells about returning from church with his family when they spotted something strange on the side of the road. It appeared to be a man dressed all in white, but as they got closer, it became clear that this was no ordinary man. He appeared to be over seven feet in height. Art contacted the police to inquire about what he had seen, and after an investigation was completed, law enforcement couldn't find any record of a man matching this description within the community. This is when reports of the strange man began popping up all over town. It was also reported that when people returned to the scene after witnessing this entity, massive footprints could be found left in the dirt, several inches larger than the largest shoes in the community. This creature in white became known as the Walking Wraith. Often appearing after dark along Concession 4, young couples parked in secluded sections of the road hoping for a little privacy were interrupted when the Wraith materialized out of the darkness next to their passenger windows causing young lovers to speed away in terror. Soon, women and children were kept close to home in hopes that they wouldn't come into contact with this pale entity, but those with the moxie headed out into the dark in hopes to capture the creature. Word soon got out through the newspapers in neighboring towns like Hamilton and Toronto that there was a spectral entity prowling the dark roadways of Waterdown. This caused massive lines of vehicles full of eager passengers hoping to catch a glimpse of the Waterdown Wraith. As summer came to a close, sightings of the ghosts came to an end as well, and life for the people of Waterdown returned to normal. Who was this massive white wraith prowling the forests of this small town? Was it a lost soul looking to communicate with the living? or just a prankster looking to have some fun? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of Never Stop Learning. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we will see you right back again tomorrow for another Shocktoberfest video.